Okay, this is question one on practice paper A, and this is the calculator paper. Okay, so um, looking at this first question, which is a pictogram question, let's first of all read the question. The question goes, here's a pictogram, so they're telling you it's a pictogram. It shows the number of books read by Assad, Betty, and Chris. This is really important. There's a key on this side. And the key says one of these diagrams represents four books. So what I want to do is I want to see how many books each of these people read or have read. The first question says write down the number of books read by Chris. So they want to just write it down. And the words write down means you don't need to do any workings. You just write it down. So how many books did Chris read. But one of these things here, these symbols, represents four books. So one, two, three, four. You can think about it like that. So Chris read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books. How many books did Betty read all together? Well, I'm doing a similar thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So Betty read thirteen books all together. Then we get to the last part. It said Dinah read six books, right? And Ericas read nine books. Show this information on the pictogram. They want you to actually draw it on the pictogram. Now, in my case, whenever I'm doing stuff like this, I actually do like using a ruler, right? Um, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to draw them freehand, right? Make sure it's, it's okay. And I'll use a pencil to make sure that... Well, at least if I make a mistake, I can rub it off. So, Dino read six books. So, I definitely need to draw one of those because that's going to represent four books. And if you remember from Chris's, that there represents two books. So, four and two make six. So, I'm going to do one of those as well. Okay? So, that's six books altogether for Dino. Eric has read nine books. So, let's see. Four is one of these symbols. If I draw another one, that makes eight. So I need to draw another one. So that's four out of four is eight. And then I need to draw one more tiny box here. Okay, and that is the solution to this question. First question on the practice paper, A calculator paper.